Well, hello, beautiful. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Candy, and today we're talking what's new and what's next, spring beauty. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. We're going to create this beautiful look, and I'm going to share some of my favorite skincare and beauty products. Also, give you guys a little tips and tricks on how to use them, and we are going to feature some products that are actually going to be a part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty steals coming up this month. So if you're like me and you love knowing what's new and what's next, fashion, beauty, and travel, then click that subscribe button, become a part of my crew. I would love to have you. As always, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box so you can shop from there. Now, I want to mention in full disclosure, this video is not sponsored by Ulta. However, some of the steals that I'm going to be sharing with you are a part of my collaboration with them on Instagram. Enough talking. Let's get into it. So starting with my skincare, um, I actually found this uh, Jelly Milk Double Cleanser recently. And as you can see, it's already a quarter full, uh, finished. I really love this as a gentle cleanser. Now, I have dry skin, so everything that I'm showing you can be used on normal to dry skin or even combination skin but I really add extra hydration I look for products that are not too drying to my skin just because it's already like hard to keep it balanced so this particular daily cleanser is really great for removing makeup and also giving the skin a deep clean without leaving it overly dry I'm wearing my eye patches because you're supposed to keep these on for anywhere from 10, I think 10 to 15 minutes. Um, these are the Pixie Detoxifying Eye Patches. I love these little things. They help to like depuff the under eye, also add hydration. And a trick, I actually leave them in my beauty fridge and so they're cold when I go to put them on so it's like an extra treat. Um, on Sundays when I do that I always do the mask I try to do it twice a week like Wednesday and Sunday sometimes I forget but I always do it on Sunday then once I take this off I'm going to hydrate my face with um, my complete comfort cream from Mac this has been a long time staple of mine I really love this I prefer it actually at night but in the winter months I use it morning and night right now the weather is still transitioning and today like i said i just need like an extra boost of hydration so i'm going to use this i find that it really works well under makeup as well like that's one of the things i love about it it's not too heavy so it doesn't really like affect my makeup i also use um the mac C plus coral glass vibrant C eye cream I'm a huge eye cream person um, the vitamin C is the trick here vitamin C helps to brighten your skin so that's one of the reasons why I definitely love this eye cream and I also faithfully am a user of the Laneige um, lip mask you're supposed to sleep in this but I honestly use it day and night and it comes with a little fancy scoop but I always lose it and I just put a little bit on again I do this kind of like right before I'm gonna start my makeup so this is the stuff that I grab and once I put on all of my skincare I love to use a jade roller and just kind of roll my skin to help absorb all of those products you always want to roll upwards um, today actually marks a very important day and if you follow me on Instagram you already know this but today is the first day of Ulta Beauty's 21 days of beauty I love this event it's like a great time to stock up on some essentials and they always do a really good selection across the board of products so I've already marked my calendar for all of the products that I will be picking up during this sale and if you haven't had a chance to look at the calendar don't worry I will link it down in the description box below I highly recommend going in looking at the calendar and then setting reminders in your phone because all of these deals are for 50% off but they're only 24 hours so you do not want to miss them first product that is actually going to be a beauty steal is the Mac Fix Plus and if you've been following me for any amount of time you already know my love for Mac Fix Plus I use this to prep my skin before I start my makeup and I also use it to set my makeup after if I want it to have more of a skin finish so you just spray I personally love the rose because it's very calming to the skin as well and then I always go in with my primer I've been using the hydro primer for a very long time um, I find that as someone who is dry it's just a really great primer 
Another really great alternative to this primer is the Too Faced Born This Way primer. That one's really nice. It's very hydrating as well. So next, I always go in with my concealers and I use a trio of three concealers. Um, primarily, my reason for this is because as a woman of color, I am not one color all over. It, most of us are tricolored. So I find to get the most natural contour, it's better to use the trio of concealers. So I first take chestnut to highlight under the eye. And then I use toffee, which would be more skin tone. And I go around the mouth. As I was saying, <laughs> my sis my baby sister is getting married in April and she had her dress fitting. So I had to take a pause, but that's okay. We only had on concealer, thankfully. So Getting back to the routine, today I'm going to be using the Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation. This is a great foundation because it has a 3-in-1 power. It has a serum, which is really good for your skin. It also has SPF 25, and it also has, obviously, some coverage. This one is, I would say, medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable, and I'm using the color Spice. One full pump on the back of the hand, and I take my brush and kind of stipple it into the skin so now I take my final concealer which is the Tarte Shape Tape I really love the coverage that you get from Shape Tape however it is a matte finish and again I'm all about hydration so that is why I like to layer it with the Born This Way concealer and I literally just take a drop of this now this would be probably three shades I would say lighter than my foundation shade right um, and just put it right in the center of the eye. I'm gonna take my sponge and just work that in. So I like to set everything using the Laura Mercier setting powders. So I use two shades. I use translucent honey to set under the eye and I just take my sponge and pat that in. This one has like a golden undertone, so it's nice to keep everything nice and bright without adding really any color. That's the one part I love the most about Laura's powders. Yes, I said Laura like we are girlfriends. Um, her powders are really good. Like they don't add too much coverage, which is really nice. So this one is the medium deep, so it's a skin tone color. And I like to take a fluffy brush and veil this all over the skin. And I like to use it to dust off the powder underneath. So to add a bit of glow back to my skin, I'm going to be using the Minted Bronzer in the color Yacht Light. So I recently picked this up from Ulta. And if you've followed me, you know that I used a old MAC bronzer for like ever. And the color was discontinued. And I've been on the search to find a replacement. Well, I am happy to report this is an amazing bronzer. Like you'll see instantly how it just starts to warm up the skin without adding too much color. Can you see the difference on each side, like here and then here? You can see how it just adds a little bit of color. I love to do down the bridge of my nose. I find that that, again, just helps to liven the skin. So for my brows, I use one of two products. It's either the um, ABH Brow Promade, and this is in the color Medium Brown, or I use a MAC Brow Palette in the color Spite, but I think that palette was discontinued, so for today's video, I'm going to be using the ABH Brow Promade. A lot of times people are um, intimidated by gels. I don't think that it's as intimidating. I think once you get a process down to do your brows, right like you spend some time really kind of perfecting your routine I think brows no matter the medium that you're using to fill them in become a little bit easier so one of my tricks is I brush my brows up right grab a 263 Mac brow brush this is the larger brush it's really firm and it is I don't know if the bristles are more synthetic than the smaller one but for some reason this one just keeps the shape a little longer um, it's a really good brush. The 263 from MAC is like my favorite brow brush. So then I take this brush. Now, the tick, trick the, the trick is use your natural brow shape. So what I like to do is take and go right under my natural brow here. So I'm using my natural brow shape 
to create the line. And then I take from that line and start pushing up. And I just go again right at where my natural hair kind of stops. If you notice, I haven't dipped again. So I'm just using what I have on the brush and making that line not so defined and pushing upwards. There we go. Now we're at the money spot. Now what I'm going to do is take a little concealer to clean. I was looking, my camera looked like it was stuck. So now I'm gonna take a little concealer using my flat brush. Now this is the 212 brush from MAC, another winner when it comes to brows. It's a nice square flat head. And I'm going to take my chestnut, which is the color that I use underneath the lighter one. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the back of my brush. And then we're going to clean up. And I don't love to put a lot of product. So that's why I like this flat brush because you don't get a lot. You get a nice thin line and brush down. So you'll notice like it's really doing like the reverse that I just did with the top I'm doing with the bottom and I don't use a lot of concealer like I mean I don't really think it's necessary if you take your time you draw a nice thin line you shouldn't have to do much cleanup also you'll rarely see me clean up the top because of that process that I'm using where I'm pulling it from dark to light you really don't need that as much as well sometimes I will go in here just to clean up a little bit but it's more natural when you don't do too much concealer that's one of my biggest tricks. Next, we're going to do a little blush and then we'll get into the eyes. So for the blush, one of the products that will be included in the Ulta Dick 21 Days of Beauty and is a top pick for me are MAC blushes. I love them. I don't know if it's because, you know, I used to be a MAC girl, but it's like their brushes are just amazing. What I like to do is combine two blushes. I always do a matte blush to kind of contour the cheek. And then I like to use a shimmer blush to highlight. You can also use a highlighter if you want, but this is kind of my process. I take a nice big blush brush and go into my matte brush, my matte blush. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And, um, and today I'm going to be using Desert Rose and Peach Twist, which is a new combination. As we're moving into spring, I wanted something that was a little lighter, a little bit more on the pinky um, tan side. So that's why I went for this one. Um, my other go-tos are Raisin for contouring and Sweetest Cocoa for highlighting. So this one is a little bit lighter. So I like to take and go right under, kind of like in a swoosh, like a Nike check, you know, kind of like whoop here, up, and just go and add color. So then I'm going to take uh, a little bit of Peach Twist, which has a beautiful shimmer. And you can wear these alone. You don't have to layer. I just prefer that. And I like to pat it right on top, just kind of dance it on the cheek to give it a beautiful highlight right on top but um, I take my brush after I've applied my highlighter and dab just a little bit right on my nose right there and that's it and I feel like that's like the perfect blush base so next let's do some eyes look one of my favorite beauty finds um, recently has been the ABH palette in soft glam this palette just has everything you need in it to create basically any eye like you can literally do anything from a smoky eye using kind of this combination to an everyday pinky eye you've got some neutrals here and then you have a wonderful kind of like um matte eye here so this palette to me is the perfect base for any one who's looking for an all-in-one palette i love traveling with things like this and again this is just one that i grab every single day to create a look so that's my go-to part of the 21 days of beauty there is going to be uh, a palette day where they're going to be featuring this brand it's online only i want to say it's nabla i apologize if i'm pronouncing it wrong six full-size eyeshadows for 12 bucks amazing deal and the payoff on these are amazing so there's a few different shades i picked up the nude palette and i also picked up the coral palette I really love this coral. I think the nude is nice, but for a pop of color, especially as we move into spring, I think this one is a great steal. And at $12, you cannot beat it. I actually played around in it the other day, and the payoff is amazing. So let's go ahead and play with 
the combination of these two palettes the one thing I will say is that this one is great but it does not have any transition shades which is why I'm going to dip into my ABH palette for my transition and use this for the pop of color so base for every eyeshadow look I literally go into burnt orange first and I like to use this right in the crease using a fluffy brush and that just kind of starts to create the transition from my concealer to the eyelid. Then I'm going to go into Sienna, which is right here, right next to that. Hopefully you guys can see. And I like to go right under that to start adding. Now, I have hooded eyelids. So what that means is as soon as I open my eyes, naturally, I lose so much of my lid space. So I always go slightly above the lid with like my crease colors. You'll also see that I go a little bit higher with my lid color because that way when I open my eyes, you'll still see my makeup. <laughs> now I'm going to take Mulberry, which is this color over here. It's this deep plum. I love this color. Like this, first of all, I just love the shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take this right into that lower crease. So now I'm like really playing right into where my crease line is. Just to deepen it a little bit. And you'll notice I'm using the same brush for all of this. Because I want a nice, the reason why I'm doing that by the way is because I want a nice blended eye. I don't want it to be too sharp. Now I like to also take this same brush with a little bit of leftover and just go right into the outer lower lash to add a little shadow. That is the start to pretty much every eye for me. And then what I will do is change out my lid colors. So for today, we're going to be using, like I said, the Cutie palette. For this look, I wanna kinda go with more of an everyday pink. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the Coral Amber, which is down here. These are so pigmented, by the way. I'm gonna take Flix Plus, Fix Plus with my brush, and I'm just gonna wet that telling you fix plus is the key to success okay so then I'm gonna take and actually I'll do a little layer of the I got you which is really pretty up here over the top and you'll see how bold that color just becomes by spraying it with the wet brush look at that isn't that beautiful so now I'm going to take this anyway yeah anyways which is a dark brown and I'm going to use a more pointed brush for this one and I'm gonna take this right into that outer crease just to blend and deepen and you'll see how quick see how pigmented this is Wow look at that you see the difference eyeliner time okay so if you are a hooded lid girl and you struggle with eyeliner let me know down in the comments because let me tell you you are not alone Eyeliner is probably the hardest part for me. Um, again, having a very small amount of lid space, you have to do a very thin line, but everybody wants a cat eye to lift, right? So it's always a challenge. Don't feel like you're ever alone. So one trick is I don't go all the way to the corner. I literally start maybe like three quarters of a way in and draw a line up, right? And then I take that line and bring it down. And I find that this helps to lift the eye a little bit. Okay, and then I go right in the inner. And I draw a line right along the lash line. I love a good mascara, okay? I kind of go between two right now. The Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal is an amazing drugstore find. So if you're looking for a budget mascara, I just love this one. I love the brush nice dense thick brush now an alternative if you're looking to spend a little bit more of a splurge on mascara I love the new Lancome Idol mascara now this one has a more like plastic firm brush head I love the fact that it has this curvature because it just sits right into the lashes nice and easily like it's so good so if you get mascara on your tops all the time or you find that you want a little bit more separation I think this is an amazing mascara for that this one is like I said it's a much denser brush so I use this on days when I'm not wearing falsies 
So in all honesty, like if I was just going out a normal day, I would just leave it like this. I wouldn't put on false lashes. But since we are doing a video, we'll pop on some falsies. And one trick that I like to do is um, I use only duo glue because their glue is like one of the best lash glues. Um, and it's also they have a non-latex formula for those who are allerg allergic to latex. I like to let it sit for a second or two. And then I use a mirror underneath and I use tweezers to pop those on. And that's it when it comes to lashes. So last but not least, let's talk lips. And so a part of my minted, my recent minted pickup, I've grabbed the lipstick and gloss combo. And actually one of the products that will be featured in 21 Days of Beauty will be the minted lip glosses for 50% off. So today I'm going to be using Peach Please Lipstick and I'm going to follow that up with the Pink About Me lip gloss. And for liner, I'm going to be using my Old Faithful, which is Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. So while I do that, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And also, turn on your notifications. That way, YouTube will let you know as soon as I upload any new videos. Lips are lined. Now, this Peach Please lipstick is so pretty. It's like a really beautiful peachy nude. It's one that I would wear even if I wasn't putting on um, a lip gloss. And what I will say about the um, lipsticks from Minted, they're really cushiony. Like they, I don't know if that makes sense, but like when you put it on, they have just like this hydration to them. They're so pretty and they feel really good on. And to finish this look off, I'm going to use a little bit of Pink About Me lip gloss. And what I love about their lip gloss is they are not sticky at all. So for my girls who have longer hair or you wear longer weave, um, you don't have to worry about your lipstick, your hair getting caught in your lipstick, which is great. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Like, again, this is really pretty by itself. It's got like a nice sheen, but I'm just going to add a little gloss to the center. So I really am very impressed with the minted products. I will be ordering more of these um, for sure. So this is my completed look. So to finish this off, I'm going to grab my Handy Dandy Fix Plus one more time. And I'm going to spray this from a distance to set everything just to give it more of a skin finish. I always like to spray a little bit off to the side just in case. So this brings me to my favorite part of every video, which is where I get to hear from you. Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite trick or tip that I shared in this video? I would love to know what you thought was helpful. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, become a part of the crew. What are you waiting for? Are you following me on Instagram? It's Candy's Land on all platforms. I do daily vlogs in my stories and I also share hot trending deals that I won't be able to necessarily get to YouTube and enough time. So don't miss out and follow me also on Instagram. Like I said, it's Candy's Land on all platforms. And most importantly, go live life out loud and then come back and tell your girl all about it. I love you guys. Be blessed.